And last but not least, let's talk about the Equalizer Trace. Oh, yes. Sure. This is the sequel that I guess a lot of people was asking for, I guess. But here we are, right? With, with each well, right? Not only is that equalizer, not only is that equalizer sequel, but I'll straight up say it felt like a man on fire sequel. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because yes, this is the long awaited, you know, reunion between Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning, right? Yeah, right. Like, I mean the last time they worked together was on Man on Fire, right? Easily which one is, of Tony Scott's awesome. best films. Yes, yes, I'd, great film. Right? Absolutely love that movie. Yeah, R.I.P. to a goat, eh? Tony, yeah, R.I.P. to a goat though. I mean, no disrespect yeah. to Ridley, really, but Tony had some bops though. Tony had some bops, right? Yeah. yeah. So um I'll do this stuff this, this, right? So, when it comes to the Equalizer, right? The first one, of course, came out in 2014, I believe it was. Yeah, um, I saw it. I, I totally dug it as well. Um, it, it's it, was, not... it was it was the whole trend of older actor being badass action yes. star mm. that Denzel... I was surprised Denzel jumped into this, but Denzel make it work um, better than I find even even somebody like... Um, even where call him? Lee, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gar- I mean, Liam Neeson has always been the go-to old guy when it comes to that, right? Um, right. And, and, fun and, and fact, this, you know, this... you're thinking, yeah, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, and fun fact, this actually came out the same year as 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 um as John Wick, right? So yeah, it's right. that whole underestimating this quiet guy, but yeah, this guy will right. fuck you up kind of vibe, right? So it's like that, right? right? And, um, and every other every other person on their mother was trying to do that, like you know, John Wick, but John Wick do its own thing, you know, the equalizer was its own thing because, and again, the star power of it. Um, I remember the most pathetic one was um. Uh, Sean Penn, the gunman, Royal Trash. Oh, I, I remember that yeah. being bad. I, I never yeah, watch that. Yeah. I never watch that. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but like, yeah, uh, you know, Bruce Willis do it. You know, the old, basically, he's an older actor. We are accustomed to him for a certain way, but they say, okay, they're playing this badass. They're making it work. And yeah, they, they make, they make, yeah, with the Denzel, Denzel really carves on a nice niche with, with his version of it. Exactly. So, yeah. and, and, you know, yeah. it's the same Denzel charm that we know and love, right? Um, right. But it's right. just when, when shit get real, when he had to get serious, he gets serious, right? Um, good thing that you brought up Bruce Willis as well too, right? Because um, this is actually, well, I should say the fifth um, collaboration between Denzel Washington and Antoine Fuqua, right? First one right. being the great Trinity, right? Um, but okay. if you remember, he did um, Tears of the Sun in 2003, right? right? With Bruce Willis, right? right? Which right. I remember right. enjoying, but I just, I never recapped that show since it, it, it came out. I really should, right? But yeah, I mean, the first Equalizer was, was really solid. Um, I actually reviewed the second one when it came out in 2018. Yeah, um, which I, didn't work I, I, that well, I, I don't want to say it's trash or anything like that though, but um, right. I just felt it like, you know, like, like the story just didn't quite land as much right. as it should. Um, yeah. But I do remember the set piece, like the final set piece where yeah. it took place during this this like hurricane. I want to call it a hurricane. That's not right. a tropical storm. And it's like, you know, the um, um, the you know the news saying, you know, everybody should stay indoors. And um, right. Denzel, who of course plays Robert McCall, is like, nah, fuck that. I go in through the storm into this house and take down all these bad guys while rain is falling, falling sorry, and wind is, is like, you know, it's windy outside as, as all hell, right? Yeah, just that, that final set piece was great, right? Um, I didn't even, like, I actually forgot that Pedro Pascal was in this. Because the only person I remember <laughs> from it was Ashton Sanders, right? Um, this was right after. Uh, I saw him right, 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 right. in uh, what's, Moonlight, what, yeah. Moonlight yeah. right? Yeah, I didn't even know that Pedro Pascal was in this too. Um, like, I didn't really know much, much about him see, except for his appearance in Game of Thrones, right? But whatever. But yeah, here right. we are, Equalizer 3. Yeah, that's, um, right before, a little before he blew up, yeah. That's right, right, exactly. Yeah. But here we are, Equalizer 3, saw the trailer of it. We mentioned it before here. Um, it looked good, you know what I mean, I must say. But again, I was like, all right, we're doing another one. But what catch me though is the witness the final chapter thing, right? I'll talk about that in my review, right? Right. So what it's about, right, is that we go well, we, we are reintroduced to Robert McCall, right? Uh, what right, it starts right, right. off is that he's going after this um <laughs> this 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 mafia guy basically at this place in Sicily. Right. And how it sets yeah. it up is very well too, because the guy just sort of shows up home and he's it, walking you know, true, like down his wine cellar, basically. You know, yeah, yeah, that's his true. Wine cellar. Like a horror show to this, eh? Yeah, and you just seeing yeah. dead body after dead body just on the floor, just bodies like being chopped up, blood and all that kind of stuff, right? And it just stops at the moment that you saw in the trailer where you see uh, Robert sitting on the wine barrel and you know he's doing the whole nine seconds thing, right? So it starts right. off there, right? But where it leads to is well, Robert getting shot in the back, right? I'm not gonna say how it right. happens, but it works. Yeah, it's which very... I, I really like. 
I really liked because it's like okay, that makes sense. He would put his guard down for a situation like that. Yeah. Uh, but although it was kind, of, it was kind of funny because when he when he, he panic and started to shoot up in the air. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I would not have thought about that in terms of how a person would react after getting shot in the back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have um thought about having the character do that. But that was really really interesting as well, right? Yeah. Um, it's a very Western moment, though. I must say, without spoiling anything, it's a very Western yeah. moment. And I have to say, this show is. Very much of Western when you think about it too, right? Well, yeah. I thought I, I I will mention something. It feel like I inverted spaghetti Western, given the nature of inverted. That's where it, inverted it is. spaghetti Western. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Because yeah, right afterwards, well, you know, um, this doctor, well, reluctantly, this doctor finds him, right. you know, wounded, well, bleeding, basically well, a police, going into a police shock. Officer finds him. A, a police yeah, officer, yeah. sorry, right? yeah, yeah, finds yeah. him. He's going into, into shock. Right. Um, right. he's taken in by this local doctor and you know right. he, well you know he's he's on the mend so he's getting back to normal he walks with a cane there's actually a nice little bit of character um set up here where you see him basically walking up a flight of stairs and right. like as these pass you see him like you know more or less walking faster he's not running but he's walking faster up the up the um, up the flight of stairs i thought that was really great right but yeah. yeah, he more or less settles in this town. Well, I believe it's it's not um it's not Sicily. It's another town, basically. I, I forget the name of the town. Yeah, um, Altamonte or Altamonte. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So yeah, he right. settles there and he likes the people. He likes the food. There's this black girl that he like who you know he's yeah, yeah, he, uh, yeah. always shows up at this restaurant and he asks for tea and stuff, here. right? Um, yeah. But you know, as they talk about man and fire. Yeah, Dakota Fanning is there. She is a CIA agent by the name of Emma, and she's investigating, right. you know, the murders that, that Robert left and the dead bodies, all that kind of stuff, right? And that well, he, leads... he calls her. Right. Oh, yes. I, I, I should... Yeah, right. Well, he calls her and pretty much gives her a tip and, and into what's going on, right? So, yeah, the, well, right. the local mafia family, basically, in that area, uh, more or less kind of financing these terrorists, right? So they're doing all these jobs and whatnot, but they're kind of paying them through drugs and they kind of sell any drugs and is this kind of like weird so the, kind the, of the, the like story kind of weird, right? Because thing. is they, they call it they call it jihad drugs. Yeah, <laughs> I was like that. jihad well, drugs, you know what I mean? Yeah, until well, jihad, you know what I mean? You yeah, well, like, well. Like, yeah. So the, the story the story kinda do this, but they do this whole <laughs> thing where it's a big misdirection involving who you think the terrorism is. Like it's yes. some terrorism in the storyline and then you understand why who doing what and why and it's really a simple reason involving money and, and to do it, um, what do you call it, boy? Like, like it's Italian version of um, gentrification, effectively, kind of going to happen. Mm, uh, yes, 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 right, yeah. Right. Um, well, what so, I would say, you, you, right. you say, you say it's dotish. Um, I just find it was a little convoluted for its own good. Like, it's, right. it's really furious, shady shit. It's so like, right, what drugs, say, money, what money, say, drugs, whatever. Yeah, but it kind of what try to make it more complex. Like, you don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah. You know? What yeah. I'll say is that it should have either been it should have either been simpler or more or explained better. Either explain it better. I think it's latter, the latter, yeah. Or it should have been simpler, right? Or just keep it as simple as it can. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, of course, you know, as I mentioned, the Mafia family, yeah, you know, well, um, through some circumstances, Robert runs afoul of this Mafia family, right? Um, right. It's basically, well, this... And these well, bad you know, guys are bad. Yeah, they, they are bad, and the show finds ways, because of the genre of the show, <laughs> to remind yeah. you that, yes, they are bad motherfuckers, and you should hate them, yeah. right? So when Robert yeah. decides, here's what, I'm going to kill all your motherfuckers, he's supposed to feel it, <laughs> it's supposed to be cathartic, it's supposed to be visceral, and it's every, it's every bit of that, right? So, um... Yeah, Ricardo, uh, well, just, you know, your, your thoughts on it, and then I will follow through. So, yeah, your, your thoughts on Equalizer 3. You know, other than some pacing issues, and I, and I felt the, and the, the kind of slightly wonky plotting, uh, I kind of loved it. Um, it's very charming with the rustic nature of the tongue and how well shot it is. Like, it, it you know, this Italy is a great place to go if you're a filmmaker. Um, they make that work. And the, the nice little relationships he make, like the, the, him and the fish, fish man and him and the waitress and then him and um, the doctor himself and, and just him and the tongue. And the, the stuff with the police officer I really liked as well. It's all little, you get, get to know the tongue. And it's typical, it's some, it's some real shame thing, right? Um, him coming back with Dakota is great. They, they had great chemistry bouncing off each other. Yeah, as I say, I love, you know, it feels like a spiritual sequel to Man on Fire, which is a movie I love, uh, Peter Tony Scott. And yeah, as I say, it felt like I inverted sp Spaghetti Western because here you have an American coming in an Italian space doing the same thing against the mafia. Like it's, like in a sense, right? It's kind of weird in that way. Um, and look, if you're, if you're here to see the justice porn and see Denzel fuck some dudes up, you're going to get that because it becomes kind of terrifying at times. Yes, you know? it, it, it's very, very hot, very slasher-like, though, slasher movie-like. Dude, 
this you, you, you really feel yeah you really you kind of for two seconds you find out feel sorry for them because what he does to the main bad guy at the end holy oh shit my like, what, the, God. what the fuck the call <laughs> What, what, what I would say without spoiling anything, though, it, you, could, you could tell yeah. that Antoine was, was channeling the Godfather, right? Where, right. That, without spoiling much, though, you will see some, yes, like, a then. religious ceremony take place, but you'll intercut yes. it with scenes of violence or somebody dying right. or whatnot. And you do that do? while I was just watching, like, wow, this is, yeah. this is some, this is yeah. some, um, but, um, but sorry. But it's really bad thing. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I, I'm trying to get, this is, this is some Michael Coley you only shit, you like, talk right. about right. wiping the slate clean, eh? That's what it is. Right, right. But they do the, the stuff with him in the bed, like it's something involving blood in a bed. It's like, oh yeah, nice. Yeah, like, also just, like, like just, Godfather as well too. But right, when they reveal just, of it minus, afterwards, what do you really do with it? Right? Yeah, minus he was yeah. it. That was really clever. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh but I also like this. The, the, it was shot like I like how well shot it was. So like that opening scene where they had the white light above thing, but him him silhouetted in the dark is like yeah, but it's a good shot too. I it, know, it really right. do the graphic novel stuff. Yes, they do the graphic novel stuff. And then the ending when the bad guy dies. That shot is great. Cause you, you yes. treat it it bright white. Yeah, and it's shining, it's and you see, and you see the um, right. you see the bricks on the, on the on the on the pe- yes. oh, sorry on the on the street. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. and it there's rain, and it's, the, the slight little drizzle, yeah. and there's the fireworks too. It's like it looks great. Yeah. Huh? It does. Yeah, it looks great. And they make it they make it come together really well. And yeah, again, if you want to see Denzel fuck some dudes up, you're gonna get that because boy, that's some good action it is. Not that not as much. I thought they would have more, but when it happened. It was pretty good. Like it just shocking, terrifying violence out of nothing. Um, and then it, like you have this like little scene in the restaurant with with him with the painting. We see that in the trailer. Boy, like oh, that's, that's, I, I didn't that's expect it was going to lead to what it did afterwards. Okay, like, <laughs> you, know, you would think there would be like a little right. grace period, right? Like okay, no. I, I, I warn you, no, I warn you, no, no. Right afterwards, nah. that man go after the dress. Like, Jesus what Christ! Time. You know, he he had a reminder of um, where um, we call him Chris, Chris, oh shit, we call him Turner. Uh, oh, oh, Chris Hemsworth. Um, not extraction. Remember his action no. movie. Really. Yeah, extraction. extraction. Earlier, ex- extraction two. Right. Mm-hmm. Same, same kind of thing where he just he, he get it no breather. Yeah. One time he run up on <laughs> he you. He run up on you. Yeah. Robert, Robert M- McCall, McCall run up on that motherfucker dread. Like Boy. one time dread. He did not stick, and they make it work. Um, the stuff with the, the stuff with Dakota again, as, as I said, it feels a bit underwritten. Like I said, if either the movie should have been simpler. Very, very simple. So you just keep it to the, the mafia stuff. Um, but I, I suppose you had to justify why Dakota is in this. Uh, because they have a, a scene with a car bomb that was like, okay, they gave she something and alright, f- fine. They make that work uh, for what it was. But they, they make it work and they, they bounce off each other pretty well. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I just, if you, look, you, you come for the justice pawn, you get the justice pawn. That's what they give you. And the man are hard. And what I like about it, they didn't go into John Wick ridiculousness. It still feels reasonably plausible for the most part. Right, for the most part, I had yeah. a couple of little moments. There were a couple of little moments that was a little, little stretching it, but for the most part, yeah, that makes sense. Somebody his age, what years, cool, nice waiters. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Loved it. Mm. All right, well, I, 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 I didn't, it. I didn't love it as much as well. You did clearly, right? Um, but I admired it and I enjoyed it, right? What I will say though, um, I was actually glad that I saw this in theaters and I didn't wait till it came out on on um, on digital, right? Because right. um, yeah, this is this is a this is a crawl please of a movie, right? Right. Um, and you can tell the kind and of what is the it's, show is, is is aimed at. Yes. Go on. Because the trailers, all the trailers before this was straight up the same type of movies. That two movies from Angel Studios. Because Angel Studios real trying that thing right now. Um, you know, with the, um, what do you call it, boy, the, the movie with the children being kidnapped. Oh, with, oh, um, oh it's Sound of Freedom, yes. yes. Oh, it's Sound them? Freedom, okay, right. right, right, right. Well, the what I say it is, 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 well, because this is not Agent Studios, but the point is, is the same type of movie. It's just, look, you know, these bad guys had to get yeah. what it coming to them. Like, like you know, cool. Mm. Yeah, they get that. And that so it's, it's another one of these. It's just... Yeah, like, like, like something out of the 80s, like, like you know, right. <laughs> one of those shows. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. It's that. So, yeah. Uh, bad guys being bad, F them up. You know, F them up, Denzel. Cool. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, good. But what I mean in terms of like the theatrical experience, right? Because I was yeah. taking note of the crowd that was with me, right? It wasn't a big crowd, right? But right. how they were responding to lines that, that Denzel dropped, especially yeah, at the lines. bad guys, right? The great lines yeah, in yeah, particular, right? So great comeback yeah. lines, right? And yeah. they had one guy who was sitting on the other end, well, like on the other side of the cinema from where I was. And he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, boy, to- uh, uh, what are you saying, boy? 
uh, talk to him, like literally yeah, say yeah, that, yeah. Like, like he's Conway the machine, right? Kids ask the parents, right? right. Yeah, boy, right. like like everything that man says, like yeah, you know, we talk to him. Right. That we talk about, boy. I had some yeah. old man sitting out next to me, like yeah, boy, fuck them up, boy, you fuck him up, boy. Yeah. And, and some woman like sitting in front of me who's like cracking up, every, like they, they they can't believe that that Robert could be this this brutal. Uh. So just cracking right. up and like ooh, ooh you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff, yeah. right? So yeah. you know yeah. the audience, you know the audience, right? But you even know the quiet audience, yeah. moments where um. Like when he says something to the Gota's character, or so that that to, or to that same we just that I mentioned before, they will laugh at it. Though. It's like genuinely smart and funny lines as well, right? So right. what what keep happening on the whole audience, right? So no, this is not for the John Wick crowd, right? This is not stylized action. This is right. old man. Let's be real, because he is like what seventy now. It's old yep. man who I, I I think it's because of the setup of the character that I think that's why it resonates so much with the audience. Yes, yeah. a man who just want to settle down. Like, I'm tired of getting shot, right? I'm sorry. I just want to yeah. settle down. I want to wake up in the morning and have tea and whatnot. Sorry, and enjoy myself and live life, right? I don't want to deal with these bad guys, but here they are. And I have to do something about it, right? So, yeah, that, right. that what makes this character even likable as well, right? Um, I do agree with you. I felt like I could have done more with um, Dakota Can- uh, Fanning's character. Like, just the whole CIA setup thing, I felt like I could have done a bit more of because they're more investigating and they're more kind of filling in the blanks as to why the mafia people do what they're doing. Um, yeah. The whole terrorist stuff, I felt like I could have explored that a little bit more, but they kind of didn't, you know what I mean? So, I just felt like they could have uh, explained these um, things a lot more, right? But I understand that, okay, we work with a certain, like, duration or certain time frame, right? Uh, that being said, I... Honestly, expecting more action out of this though. Like, I I appreciate the drama, right. I appreciate the, right. the, the quieter moments, but I did come out of it like, yeah, I kind of wanted to see more action, right? And here, this this leads to probably my my biggest issue with the film. Not a major issue, but that's how I felt, right? Um, I felt like there was not a sense of finality to things, because as right. the trailer says, oh, it's a fin- well, I, it's the final chapter. I, 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 I didn't so, get any sense. I didn't get any sense that it was a final movie. Like I could totally see a part four coming out. Like all right, well, uh, good thing you see yeah. that, right? Because um, I didn't afterwards, get like I went yeah. up on Wikipedia, and they say that there is the possibility that they could do like a prequel, a like see the beginnings okay. of Robert McCall, right? So you're thinking heard, of of, of bringing heard, in either his I son, like Denzel's son, yeah, and, right? I heard that. Or or Michael B. Jordan. I think John nah. should be. Is, is best fit because I mean Michael B. Jordan do the whole revenge thing already with, with without remorse and it was bad. I'm right. sorry, but that I right. mean I don't see that Michael is bad or he shouldn't play Robert McCall. But I think in this case it really should be John David Washington. I, that, that it's it's pitch perfect casting right here, and it gives John right. the opportunity to to play like he dad, like to to stunt like he daddy, right? If you will, right? Yeah, exactly. it, it'll make yeah, right. sense, right? Just seeing, right? And I like that. I yeah, like I that mean... we could have prequels to it, right? You know. Uh, yeah. But again, you, you tell me as the end, and especially when it ends too, like where the movie ends, very sentimental. I, did, I didn't expect it to be yeah. that way, very simple and sentimental. Um, just, I wish there was a little more to it. There's a little more to it, but it just kind of ends the way that it's like, okay, all right, whatever. But again, I just felt like I, I was just wishing for a sense of finality. Like, okay, if this is where this character is going to be, we could just leave like, okay, we don't need to see this character again because he's in a better place, right? That's all I'll say without spoiling right. it, right? But it just sort of stops like, all right, that's the end of the film. That's how I felt, right? Um, cinematography is only after the fact I realized that Robert Richardson worked on this, right? Um, okay. This shit look fantastic, though. I mean, he worked yeah, on great. Emancipation. He worked on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, this shit look right. great, though. Like, like this is literally a travel log for Italy, boy. Like, just the establishing shots and just the exteriors in particular look gorgeous, right? right. Um, and you know, just touching any whole mafia stuff, it really did remind me of like you know the the Italian scenes in the Godfather trilogy in particular, right? Um, when it comes to the mafia stuff, when it comes to the villas themselves, right. um, unfortunately, very two-dimensional. Um, I wish that it did more with the, well, basically you have the, the, the lead, the, well, you know, the boss, right? But there's his brother who working under him, right? And I kind of like the whole right. boss on the boss thing where, if you notice, the on the boss, well, let's just say the, the younger brother, and he goons it riding bikes while the other guy is driving, yeah. you know, cars and whatnot. Like, I like that. Like, yeah. something as simple as that, right? 
but they could have delved a little yeah. bit more into their dynamic, right? I'm not saying they should have given my flashback into why they end up, you know, being mafia men in the first place. We all know it's a family thing, right? But even that note too, they could have set up a little bit more too, instead of because I just kind of want him to be more than just a generic bad guy. He just kind of came off like that, unfortunately, right. you know. Um, but ultimately, any at the end of the day, they are meant to be detestable. They do bad things. They take advantage of people. So when they right. run into Robert and Robert talk yeah. talked out to them, that's where you get that audience reaction, like yeah, talk to him or whatever it is. But again, yeah. I just did, I you know like maybe it's because I haven't seen. Because I only saw the, the, the second one once, I didn't think that I'm going to go after them like immediately. I like, saw so, like, all right, if you fuck up one more yeah. time, I'll come for you. No, it's like, nope, after you worry, <laughs> just go after them afterwards, right? And I'll just close to this, right? Yeah, Don't go into the show expecting some kind of mo- morality story or whatnot, right? There's, there's not really moral in terms of like what Robert does, but it's the idea it's of shame. justice. That's it's what shame. it is. It's, it's, it's about, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Sheen, right, if you're, if you're familiar with the Western, yeah. right? And yeah, what, if you really look at it like this, yeah. I don't know, like a new Western, whatever, yeah, it, it, it works, right? It's that, you know, grizzled yeah. veteran gunslinger who just wants to, you know, um, spend the rest of his life in peace. But he can't have that because there's these guys who are causing trouble. I was like, all right, I really do, uh, you know, all they need to stop because I just try, want to be all peaceful and zen and shit. Or they, or they push, or they pushing other people, or they push me. Okay, now I'm gonna push back. And yeah, after close this right. boy, yeah, the moment where he gets back at them, a very slasher movie inspired, I must say, yeah, though. Uh, but yeah, they are very visceral. Yeah, they are yeah. very cathartic. Like when you see a bone break or a bottle smash over a guy's head, uh, oh. head. Sorry, you you feel that. You feel that. You 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 wish you were you were you were holding that bottle. You wish you were the one who broke that bone. Jet. That is how great um, those moments are. And of course, you know Denzel just kills it though. Especially the whole duality thing of the character. I like that he is no John Wick, of course, because of his age. But yeah, you could buy into a guy like him who will move the way he move, um, and yet be so swift with it when it comes to his kills, right? So um, yeah. So as a whole, while I kind of just wanted this to feel like a, a true finale, like. I'll, I'll give you an example, like how John Wick 4 was. That felt like a finale to me. Even though, yes, you, right. you'll get other films, like Case in Point, we're supposed to get this miniseries about the Continental Hotel that everybody asks for. I don't know why. Right. <clears throat> but I mean, I'll watch it because I'm a John Wick fan, but why we need to see the early days of the Continental Hotel? I, I don't know, but I'll watch it. But yeah, like I just felt that we should have gotten more of a sense of finality to things. Just kind of felt like, yeah, we can have another one after this, you know. It's, it's not the end, but right. you, you tell them it's the end, but it doesn't really feel like the end to me, right? But on that, though, um, well, I should say the, um, Denzel Washington is great as always. It's great seeing him alongside Dakota again. I just wish that they gave her yeah. character more to do. I wish that the um, the villain was, uh, you know, one dimension more than he was here. Um, but again, you know yeah. you, you know what you're coming for. You know what you, you, you pay your money to see. And you get that. And I would just say that, yeah, this show is, is worth checking out theatrically. But if you want to stay home, if you want to wait till it comes out of digital, no problem. I mean, it wouldn't hurt you. I mean, I do hope that you do see it because, yeah, you, you will be entertained by it one way or, or the other, right? So, rate wise, I'm going to give this uh, lighter, decent trade out for the five, man. Um, I think that it is worth checking out. Again, I say see it, in the big, see it on the big screen. You know, make sure that there's a crowd so when people react to things, you like, you can laugh alongside them or cheer with them or whatnot. But yeah, if you want to watch it home, watch it home, man. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's that good, right? Uh, close to this. Um, you don't necessarily have to remember everything from 2, but I know near the end there's a reference to 2 that, well, uh, well a friend of mine right. who, who came with me, he had to tell me what happened. I was like, oh, okay, that, that's what happened. I, I forgot that, right? Right. But yeah, again... Yeah. While it didn't really feel like the finale that I wanted to do, yeah, this this was a this was a solid closer to yeah, what is actually a, a really solid, you know, trilogy of yeah, vigilante slash revenge films. Yeah, so I can't be mad at that. So Ricardo, your final thoughts are rated. Yeah, I largely agree to what you say. I mean I, I just again I just went into it, you know, just looking to see Denzel fuck some people up and that's what I get. And it was pretty much that. Yes, I don't remember the event from two. It's like, oh yeah, right, right, right. That was the thing. Um, that's involved with the money, right? Yes, yes. That, that involves the money, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, rating, 7 out of 10. Um, I just went to, it was a little underwritten. Um, but it it, could, uh, it 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 was fine, mostly fine as 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 it is. And I, I had very few problems um, one way or the other. Yeah, 7 out of 10. Pretty good. 